The League of Legends community is not alright. Oh really? When have they ever been to begin with? Well, you're not gonna believe what happened over the last two months. A okay. few days ago, Riot revealed some amazing skins coming to League of Legends. Well, that's it good, was right? all new additions to the Coven skin line, which over the years proved to be a really popular one. Okay. And when it comes to the new ones, I would even go as far as to say that these are some of the best skins Ooh, we have ever seen. That's a pretty decent Mordekaiser skin, look at that. Yeah, that looks cool. And it's not just the amazing Mordekaiser. However, what I yeah. didn't know... I mean, it is a ooh, but it seems a little bit underwhelming for waifu right there. Is that all of this arrived with a bit of a drama. A drama that involves the funniest and dumbest fight I have seen in a while. Yeah, sounds like League of Legends right there on the money. 100, yeah, that, that sums up League of Legends perfectly. With okay. the two fighters being Syndra mains and Nami mains, with the main <laughs> battlefield... What, what do they even have in common? What, 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 what do you mean? What, 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 what do even, what kind of, how did they even overlap? Because their abilities involve balls? Uh, what's the deal here? being the Queens of League subreddit. Now, under normal circumstances, I wouldn't even know that anything was happening. And the okay. only- What the fuck? I mean, it's League of Legends. What, what, what do you expect? Reason? Logic? No. No. The reason I found out was because Skin Spotlight mentioned some of the DMs he got from questionable people. So since a lot of you might be in the dark- Wait, what is even the constituted a questionable person in League of Legends? Is it someone who is a playground enthusiast or is someone who is not a playground enthusiast? I'm confused. Arc 2, uh -huh. why don't we go on a bit of an adventure? Back where it all started about three or four years ago. It all started- what is this, the start of an anime? Holy shit! Probably, I mean, the yes. The camps getting a bit frustrated. Both Syndra and Nami are old school classic champions, okay. with neither of them True. having a legendary skin. <gasps> so occasionally you might have seen a post. I mean, so the five Syndra mains in the world and the three Nami mains in the world are gonna have a war with each other? Oh no, the casualties must be... At least eight in that case. That's too high, right? Such as this one. Legendary skin for Syndra. Am I the only one who feels frustrated for the fact that she doesn't have a legendary skin? I mean, it's not only that she doesn't have it that makes me kind of mad. Nice. It's the fact that, for example, Senna, much newer champion, uh -huh. already has a prestige and a legendary in her skin. Yeah, but everyone plays Senna. Senna is abs absolutely great, right? In portfolio, and I don't know. I'm just so jealous, I guess. Yeah, Anyone this is only 16. This is only 16 up, dude. It's not really that big of a deal. Anyone else feels like this? Lol. I just wanted to release something for her <laughs> that blows everyone's minds. Uh huh. This post definitely seems to be. I mean, Bondage Mommy Cinder definitely deserves a legendary skin. Because she wears. She, she literally wears a tongue, and you can see it in game. It's. It's grade A design, and I think a legendary skin should highlight her personality in full by removing as much clothing as possible. Reasonable. I mean, sure. in the past, Syndra was the peak mid laner quite a few times. Yeah, this is True. Nice. Still, she doesn't have a legendary skin. Yeah, because everyone who plays Syndra for more than three games straight suddenly wishes to delete their Minecraft character. It's a byproduct. The fact that she got 11 other skins, that's worthless, right, Rel? But of course, this was three years ago. So over time, the intensity of Syndra main's frustration rose, which <laughs> is very much in character for oh Syndra. And so, two years ago, we got a post such as this one. Riot, I... Hmm. What is he? What, this what? shit is insane. I am tired. Syndra deserves a legendary skin. Excuse uh -huh. me, please. That's Sorry, but loud. I feel like I need to be annoying at this point. 
Riot, I beg you, please just give Syndra's legendary coven and make the skin one of the most beautiful, powerful, imposing, elegant, mystical, and incredible. Le you see that? You see that? G g guess where the straps go? G guess where the straps go and how how small they get? Yeah, yeah. Syndra's a pretty good champion, eh? Legendary in the league. This is a fucking simp, bro. This is a hundred percent a simp. You know it. And I won't ask for anything. No, no, he's wrong. It's just your everyday Cinder enjoyer. Else for the rest of my short life. It is kind of unbelievable yeah. that they called out a Coven skin two years ago. Naturally. I have to give them credit for that one. I don't want to die <laughs> without seeing my main in the Eclipse <laughs> universe. Lores like these, it's what makes me love this game even more. All my mains nice. are in the Coven, and the only thing missing is the biggest one, Syndra. Yeah, I'm sure they are gonna make a Syndra skin only because of your list of mains. I've been asking for this skin since the first release with Lissandra and Camille. I don't even know where to ask anymore, I swear! I don't understand why they keep ignoring us. Oh, I do understand. I mean, who, who gives a shit about Lissandra, honestly? Yeah, yeah, give us another Lux skin. I have none, but I play Lux because she's awesome. Stand. And please don't talk about popularity. Okay, that's exactly what I was referring to. Yeah. There are champions that are less popular than Syndra, and who also deserves to be there, like Miss Cassiopeia. Sorry I'm sensitive, I just wanted to vent. Just- I just- Cassiopeia is pretty popular, I think, at the Worlds. You know, the complete failure of an esports that Riot, uh, Riot Games has. And by the way, objectively a complete failure, because considering how many people play League of Legends, and how little- of a, of a viewer conversion that is for their eSport, it is a failure, okay? It is an absolute... It's one of... It's it's a big failure in relative numbers, but it is absolutely the biggest failure of eSports. Can't believe that gaming in 2023 is Reddit posts about companies not making free skins that they can spend... Or sorry, skins that they can spend money on. People are complaining about not having enough microtransactions. And yeah, to be... F yes. What do, you, what, what do you think people on Reddit are going to do? Have a healthy life? I mean, have brain tissue? I'm pretty... I'm pretty sure it's in the Reddit terms and uh, terms and conditions when you when you make an account that they get uh, get like at least 33% of your gray matter. To be fair, this is 2021. This for You're Miss right. Dark almost Solren. So yes, Syndra mains were getting frustrated. Meanwhile, in the Nami mains camp, similar post also two years ago. Why oh doesn't my. Nami have a legendary skin yet? While we have champions <laughs> like Caitlyn and Vayne getting their Dude, you know what this looks like? That someone that someone planted this drama. It looks like someone that this wouldn't be out of character for League of Legends. Second legendary skin this year, supports oh like Nami, Zyra, Lulu, and Jenna have yet to receive their first legendary. Do you think this will change by the end of 2021? I really like how the first comment is just calling out Jenna for already having a legendary skin. Yeah. But the counter argument is that it is not a good one. You hear that, Rel? Yeah, it doesn't matter if it's not good. This is crazy. Champion mains are the sims for that champion, especially if they're posting on a Reddit for it. Dude, this is insane, man. Anyone who's on Reddit is insane to begin with. It's not a good one. Still, I have to give it to Nami mains for staying calmer than Syndra mains. Yeah. But unfortunately, as the years went by with no legendary skins in sight, right. both teams got frustrated. So back in the Syndra main camp, we got another one. What do you think Syndra's legendary skin will be? Or would you like it to be? We all love Spirit Blossom. And considering she also gained prestige mm. this year, it's likely that next year she'll get her first legendary. Dunk Master Cinder, who even voted for that? And in <sighs> your opinion, which skin will it be? I like how they shifted gears into it just being pretty much confirmed that she will get a legendary skin. Yeah, bro, like they're thinking past the sale. Bro, they're already, like, they, yeah, they're planning for which, yeah, it's like, which color do you want your Ferrari to be? Bro. It's true. What the fuck? Because, yeah, it's been a while. She's gonna get one, right? Now, admittedly, this is funny. 
But your average World of Warcraft simp is literally the exact same. Only they're, cry they're crying about the fact that Blizzard is literally never giving them anything that they ask for. Oh my but God. better yet, they mentioned that she just got a prestige skin, mm -hmm. which somehow is supposed to mean that she will also get a legendary. I don't know how that argument is supposed to work. But regardless, most people voted for the Coven skin line. So Syndra mains really st The people who voted for Darkstar to, uh, should, you know, dangle from three branches. I'm not gonna lie, be, you know, around their necks. Because Darkstar, Darkstar Cosmetics means that the, all of her skin is gonna be not there, okay? And she's gonna get more clothing as a Darkstar uh, Dark skin. So these people are degenerates in the wrong way. Started craving a coven skin. I now don't get how this happens because, like in WoW, like the new the new warrior tier set. Have you guys seen it? It looks really stupid. It's like <laughs> and like I looked at it and like you see what I mean. You see what I mean. At least at least Riot fanboys get what they ask once in something once in a blue moon. Blizzard fanboys just constantly get beaten. Like I wasn't mad. I was like. <laughs> Wow, this one's really fucking bad, huh? You guys really shit the bed on this one. This one sucks. And it's like, I'm not that upset about it, right? Like, I'm not gonna make a Reddit post about it, but like, damn. Now, at this point, even the Nami main started getting frustrated. Nami is almost 10 years old and still has no legendary skin. She isn't considered unpopular and has a lot of skin potential. I really want a legendary for her, especially since the last two skins she got were without any events, icons, borders, and also filler skin line, nothing new or special. I okay. really hope our fishy will get the skin she deserves, not too far in- Okay, so th this just goes past any reason, because this is- Okay, I just- I, I also want an icon border and thing. Oh my lord. The future. Now, don't be fooled. While Nami mains may look civil at first, do you guys have any information about the new Nami skin? I <laughs> ah, thank God these are a minority, and they're all in bronze. <laughs> this is too much, man. Begging for microtransactions, bro. That's the world that we're in now. Begging for microtransactions. I mean, Blizzard is going to give you a microtransaction either you want it or not, but if someone begs Blizzard for a microtransaction, they're going to get a different one. That's the best part. I want the new Nami skin so bad. Legendary one, please. Oh Time my god. has corrupted their minds too, and soon. Legendary skin for Nami when? Karma has one, Soraka has one, hell, even Sona, who no one pl Soraka has one? Wow. And still, yeah, Sona does have one and no one plays her through. Blaze has one! Oh Riot, my God. where is the legendary skin for Nami? Now, at this point, with the rising popularity of the Queens of League subreddit, the two camps. No. Dude, this subreddit is probably the most degenerate, stupid, disgusting thing ever. Wait, so is this like a simp subreddit? Yes, probably. Like, guaranteed. Like, you look at these three characters, this is 100% a simp subreddit, right? Obviously. I don't yeah. by the way, even know what this is. Diana, maybe? Yeah, yeah, it is. Okay, that's what I thought. And suddenly, arguments over who deserves a legendary skin more. Oh my god. Right. Though at this point, the discussion still remained relatively civil. Yeah. But that all changed when the leaking nation... Relatively civil still means autistic, by the way, in League of Legends. ...attacked. There were talks about the fact changed when... Besties, how we feeling about this leak list? Leak list? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> Girl. Girly VR exposed. 
Oh, girl, these. I'm sorry. All of these are dudes. All of these are unironically dudes. Because they probably... They, they probably forced all the girls out of this, uh, this subreddit. Because, you know, support spot legitimately played by a lot of girls. This may be a female League player subreddit? No. That's what it's gotta be, guys. No, it's, it's a bunch got, of That's dudes. what it's gotta be. No. <laughs> well, I'm sure they identify as female if that's what you're asking. There were dogs! I feel like League creates mental illness more frequently than, like, almost any other game. Like, League is the closest thing, because, like, obviously, the game that creates mental illness the most, they're, like, gotcha games, right? Those are the ones that, like, really attract the, like, real fucking people, right? Yeah, but those people are kind of okay. I have nothing against gotcha pl players who are absolutely addicted, because they end up deleting their Minecraft characters pretty fast. So they, they don't have an impact. So I think gotcha players are kind of okay because of that. But League of Legends players, they make it a point to survive as long as possible and waste all the oxygen. But like, League of Legends fucks with people so hard. Oh, the fact that a Brazilian streamer got a leak. I think the reason why is because of how long the games are. It's like, if you lose in League, you know you're losing, and you have to lose for 20 minutes. You see, this is why we have stopped talking about Dota in general, because in, in League of Legends, the game's 30 minutes. In Dota, the game is one hour plus, sometimes. Pretty often, honestly. Pretty fucking often. This is why we don't even talk. And, and Dota 2 has voice chat. I mean, this is, there's there's a reason we don't even talk about Dota 2, because it, it's a forsaken part of the internet that should not exist. A legendary skin! For God. And I have 6,000 hours in Dota 2. Actually, was it 8,000? I don't know. And probably, like, at least 4,000 in League of Legends. Yeah, life's not been kind, but I still have a lot of luscious hair, so, you know, that's kind of good. Syndra. Naturally, this piqued people's interest, but everyone remained skeptical. Because at that point in time, fake leaks about Coven Syndra were made up, like, every other week. But then, a second 40? leak happened. I was assuming you didn't know that you were losing until halfway through the game, but yeah, I know. A leaker by the name of Big Bad Bear found some traces leading to Coven skins. Ooh. Namely, it was Syndra with an unknown deer, as well as Neela, well, Elise, she looks hot. Akari, yeah, that looks good. And That's actually. And for some reason, they also mentioned that the legendary will be between Nami and Syndra. Okay. But it was unclear which one of these two it would be. Oh, so they put also them mentioned against that each there other. would be an old girl. Syndra. Nami doesn't have a fish, fish boozy, so it's not okay. Odd, which eventually turned out to be Mordekaiser. Now, right. what Big Bad Bear did is that they also just made up a poem. It wasn't written by Riot, it wasn't anywhere in the files, it wasn't related to any content. They just made up a poem to these people. Which I... So they, this guy just straight up wrote fan fiction, and these subreddits went with it. Yeah. They actually just got trolled. I mean, I remember I, I remember the time when it, uh, when it happened, when the official World of Warcraft subreddit was trolled by someone who just copy-pasted a Blizzard watermark on a self-written email and everyone bought it as reality. I also remember that uh, that part. So yeah, uh, people just randomly deciding that some kind of random post on Twitter is, is the truth of the world. Not surprising, honestly. I'm surprised this didn't happen sooner. I don't think was the smartest idea. Because people thought it was something official, and yeah. so they started digging way too deep. Spreading misinformation. But also, because now there was a second leak Reddit. working the same thing. It's the just two Reddit things. war camps actually sat down together at a table, and some serious discussions started. For the most part, people joked about, what the heck is Akali doing there? Like, she's obviously there to generate money. And also, 
I feel sorry for that one person craving a legendary Elise skin. But then the real talk started. Why I think Nami should get the legendary <laughs> skin, even if Sin. Oh, you can tell people aren't happy about this because look at 52 comments and it only has 88 upvotes. Yeah, people are mad. Is There's that more. 100%? Look, yeah, I don't get it either. Our favorite witches are returning, and it's led to a lot of debate on who deserves the legendary oh my skin. God. I've seen most support for Syndra, and I've got to say, she fits the line. Well, that's impressive, making a sentence that cringe in the first three words. Well, that, that takes some skill. I'm far better than Nami. If Syndra fits mm -hmm. better, why do you want Nami to get it? It's because Syndra fits the line better than Nami. Legendary skins set themselves apart by adding new voiceovers and animations to better differentiate the skin from base. I personally believe legendary skins should prioritize making characters whose regular characterization clashes with the skin. So, um, that's just false. Riot has a system they call Core Truths. Every champion has their core truth that can't be broken no matter what skin they have. <laughs> Until they break it! <laughs> I can guarantee you this works until the point they just decide yeah we're gonna break it. I can guarantee you that's 100% how it works. For example, Lux is always Garen's oh, no. sister. So even if they have a legendary skin, they always have to stay true to their original character. Yeah, Syndra sure. Wasn't I mean, that doesn't Garen, mean a lot. But because of that, the benefits she would get from a legendary would go so much further on Nami. I hope you'll be able to understand my point of view. I haven't seen anyone else who had the same argument for Nami as I did, and wanted to see if anyone felt the same. Take care, darlings. Oh, crazy, <laughs> darlings. <laughs> Bro, like, <laughs> that's good. That's good. What the fuck? Like, I love this, by the way. I really do. So, like, one of my favorite things is on the internet is researching into, like, a micro community of people that are just completely batshit insane. Yeah, that sounds like a complete lie. This this sounds as as truthful as some, like, uh, someone like Mudahar from some ordinary gaming saying he researches shit before talking about them or taking sponsorships. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, that sounds like an absolute lie. Like, looking up, looking into, like, um, uh, you know, the Chris Chan fandom. Looking up about bronies. Learning about, uh... Oh, fuck. Let me think of some more of these. Like, uh... Like, furry stuff. Um, Area yeah. 51. Okay. Sovereign citizens. Juggalos. Yeah, I mean, this is just QAnon. Yeah. And it's like, I love this stuff. Yeah, it's like the dark, forbidden knowledge. How is that dark forbidden knowledge? Oh, right? how civilized. It really feels like the queens had a proper meeting to talk about their concerns. Naturally. But all of that is what was happening on the surface. Because deep below, deep below. Was going on. What? You see, oh, as no. I mentioned, I learned about all of this from Skin Spotlights, who for quite a while didn't know about this either. And who, at this point, has proven himself to be really good at data mining stuff from PvE. Oh, from him, him I learned it wasn't too difficult to get a hand on all the leaked info. Uh -huh. And in fact, he already knew what was coming to leak and he knew who had the legendary skin. But he didn't tell anyone, just like a lot of other data miners. Because so he just let it happen so people could fight amongst each other and just let him get mad. Mm, I love it. That's probably not it. He probably didn't care. Believe it or not, data miners are not leakers. They are looking for secret files for fun, not for attention on the internet. Yeah, yeah, sure. And they sure. don't leak stuff even if they know something that they shouldn't know. Because leakers suck and they ruined quite a few events in the past. I not agree. to mention Briar. That was quite something. What the hell oh, is didn't that? Didn't they make her wear socks or something like that? Whoa, whoa, whoa. What, 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 what is this? Feet? Huh. Okay, time to rethink my life positions. Okay. Yeah, I mean, she's already chained up, technically. And... This doesn't exactly look like your typical 3,000-year-old vampire that still looks like a lolly situation, so... 
I have questions. Not many, but questions in any case. Also, you know, that, that that's a reasonable outfit, yes. That's, that's pretty reasonable if you think about it. I remember seeing this picture, and then in the other one, they put socks on her or something? No, it was a meme? Okay, okay, never mind. Hmm. Yeah, I remember seeing this and, like, people just went I mean, crazy. can we, can we maybe accent the feet a little bit more? I mean, just, just, just throwing out ideas here at, at this point, you know? ...about it. And in fact, I learned that some of the leakers were confused about who's getting the legendary skin. Uh -huh. Because the leaks were related to a link to a media file. For example, in this case, they got a link to the trailer video for the Coven skins. But that one was in a different language. The issue there is that the translations are very often not right. So it was unclear sure. who huh? was the main character of that trailer. Or in other words, it was unclear who the legendary skin is. In fact, huh? this is how the poem was made up. The poem talked about Ocean's Call. But the original reference was translated from Siren's Call. So it was the indirect translation that screwed people over. Regardless. So th this guy's just like, he leaked it and he knew what it was. Then he just put out a fucking poem to make people think it was something else just to fuck with them. Probably. Sounds oh, both, right? great. This is where a really desperate thing happens. I mean, this, this is how it works, right? League of Legends is not special because it has this many special people. The only the reason why we notice this is because League of Legends has a lot of players. If you have something with a lot of people in it, well, groups like this are going to sprout out pretty much wherever, okay? It is what it is. Happened. You see, the Dark Cabal of Queens learned that the data miners knew, and they initiated a new operation. An operation? operation called Let's Autism. Learn Who the f is the Legendary Skin, Besties. The plan besties. was simple. Message the data miners. <laughs> Pretend you are someone important and get the info at any cost. The following are... Oh real shit, social engineering. Dude, why, why haven't people social engineered Riot? It seems not like a hard thing. Just find someone who's working there. Email them, pretend you're someone, and fucking just get the information. It seems like social engineering right video games would not be that hard of a thing. Because, let's face it, who works there? Morons. Quotes from real DMs they got. Hello, skin spotty light. I just want to make a thing with you. I just want to know who got the new Coven legendary skin. For sure I will not expose it on internet after it. I just want to know for myself. Please and good night. But of course- What the fuck is this? <laughs> Are they really trying that hard to pretend to be a woman? Is this really it? Is this how far we have come as a society? I kind of love it. I'm not gonna lie, I kind of love it. Scammer grammar? It is. It is scammer grammar. Of course, being the giga chats they are, the data miners were impervious. And they would not be so easily yeah. parted with their precious information. So some of the sneakier queens stepped up their game. Hey ya, uh, I work for the Greek dub for League of Legends with the studio. <laughs> hey ya! Uh. let you know, we have just sent the VO for Nami skin for the Greek dub. I assume you saw it on data. How is that possible? Skins never come that early before our deploy. Oh my God. I assume other dubs would come later in the cycle. Or is it an Wait, 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 wait. They legitimately tried to social, in social engineer this. I was joking about I never thought that they're gonna even honestly attempt that. That's just too much. E cycle, we are not informed. Appreciate it if you can say honestly, lol. That's right, channeling the power of deception from LeBlanc herself. The dark cabal of the queen's disguise. It's just like... Honestly, this is... This is not even that bad for an attempt. This is not even that... If you can get any reply, you can learn where you got wrong with this. So I'm not gonna be too critical of this except for the Heya part. That ought to be, dude, if I read this in an email, I'll be, I'll, I would be like, oh no, 
Oh no, it's the marketing department, isn't it? Only they are this fucking stupid. Oh no, not the marketing department again. <laughs> they don't know what 2 plus 2 is. Oh no. They, 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 need, they need to, to be told this 5% increase in sales, good or bad, when we expected 100%. Oh no. Bruh. How, how is anybody going to believe this? You'd be it's surprised. Illegal, by the way? No, it's not. This person is probably 14. Yeah, I mean, they're just a kid. What, what's going to happen to him? Identify they give him detention? 14. Is <laughs> themselves as officials working or with 44. Riot Games. Yeah. Where they messaged a data miner not affiliated with Riot. And Naturally. they talked about disclosed information which the data miner is not even supposed to know about. Like, um... I really want to uncensor this. Wait, 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 because... wait, wait, wait. They ask data mat? Why? Just go on LinkedIn and find someone who works at Riot. Th that's the first step. First step, you find someone in LinkedIn who works at Riot. Doesn't matter what kind of position. Honestly, the lower the better, okay? I'm gonna, I'm gonna walk you through a little bit of this, okay? You find someone who works at Riot, but not in a high position, a pretty low position. Then you write them a almost believable email about something important. And make it seem uh, that, you know, you just got the wrong person to send them to. Because you, he's not a part of the team. And then, uh, and then when they say, I'm not a part of this. Oh, do you know who, in that case, blah, blah, blah. And get, get the email a little bit higher. Until you get to the right people who you actually need to ladder up. And then you just ladder them up some magically how. Now admittedly, I, off the top of my head, I can't even think of a way to, you know, get the information out. Because it needs to be the right department, but it doesn't, it cannot be high enough. It needs to be low enough that they would actually know the information and get uh, get asked those uh, those questions often enough. Because if you ask a question that is outside of someone's understanding or average uh, or average, you know, experience, that's going to raise questions. But if you ask someone a question that they are already accustomed to, that they have seen before, that, they, that it is a part of their job, they're going to answer you. That, that, that's one of the tricks. If they really were working on the Greek dub, they yeah. would be under NDA, and just by mentioning a skin that wasn't even revealed yet, they get in trouble. They would be hit with a massive fine. Yeah, they also, get in they specifically mention working on the Greek dub because that's where leaks happened in the past. I'm not sure they would be under NDA, by the way. That I'm pretty sure there's no NDA in these situations. There's just your work contract that uh, that says that, but there's no NDA in particular, like they mean. They mean an NDA, an actual NDA that you sign. No, these people would most likely be under uh, just basic work, uh, work agreement that says you cannot disclose uh, pri a com uh, private company information and uh, to out outside people or something like that. Yeah. But that person is um, apparently Turkish. Regardless, yeah. unfortunately for the queens, the data miners wouldn't yield. Smart. And the hey, yeah. war camps were growing <laughs> desperate. Bruv. Their pitchforks not only at each other, but also at everyone around them. It got to a point where literally any fart on the internet started a new theory. So when the Riot Music account tweeted, Oh boy. Good morning, support mains. Which I believe is totally gonna be related to the musical skin line. This is down bad, man. <laughs> like, these people are straight up down bad. <laughs> like, I honestly, like, I'm starting to get to the point where I, I can- Hey, I gotta admit, though, Riot does have some absolute bangers. Let's be absolutely real, okay? Especially Arcane. Bruh. Uh, the Arcane soundtrack is just good. Kinda feel bad. It's like, just, guys, just give them the skin. Just give it to them, please. 
and we are totally getting at the end of this year. Yeah. Which means that this was unrelated to all that was Let them happening. suffer? Also, so? this was tweeted like three weeks before anything was even teased. Naturally. People still <laughs> took it as a confirmation that Nami was the one. A prediction <laughs> that soon became a curse. It was after th I mean, the, the the thing is, this is completely normal from one part, because when you're looking for it, you're gonna find it, okay? When you're looking for something strange everywhere, you're gonna find something strange everywhere. At the, the day came. The day Riot revealed a trailer called Siren's Call, okay. which would reveal the full Coven lineup, as well as who the legendary skin is. And all it right. was there that the two war camps watched in disbelief. Yeah, we already know it's more dead out. Kaiser. Nami was the one to get the legendary skin. What? She would be the queen to reign the queens of League. The truth that would bring Syndrome. Wait, what do you mean? Didn't he say that Mordekaiser Kaiser got the skin previously, or was that a different skin line? I'm confused. Mains to their knees. Okay. One that caused uh, many Syndra mains to be very rude and quite racist and. A <laughs> Race? <laughs> Wait, what? Move. Also, it's funny it's to see that Skins fish. Like, actually knew about a lot of this for a while, but he didn't know the drama was happening. Apparently, the <laughs> didn't even know. Of course he didn't know. What do you want from a Reddit with five people in it? <laughs> Bro, he's not even checking his DMs. He's like, ah, uh, it's whatever, right? Yeah, it probably. Is is. Yeah, he just no fucking idea. Besties, nice. In early. And yes, as I mentioned, as expected, Syndrome- Nami won because- wait, so Nami won because of Korea? Is that it? Probably. Planes were not too happy about this. The way this means, Syndra is never getting a Coven legendary. I mean, the the truth is the the skin is just the side on player population numbers. That that that's the literal truth of League of Legends. Have have character play by many, get skin. Uvu, easy. Kale incident all over again. It's sinned over. I am sorry, Syndra over. You did not deserve this. Are there other skin lines where Syndra would slay as legendary as much as Coven? I feel like this was the one specifically made for her. Jesus. And she could have easily been double slay legendaries queen. with Nami for maximum slayage. Oh. If Nami is not in a relationship with the old gods, then it's not serving. Mm. And just like- I love this. I love this so much. Slay. Oh, it's not even that good, huh? Wow. Like that. The war. Did she just over. get two tails? It kinda sucks to see how much the oh, she's an octopus. That's and how Riot pretty much just took the one thing they wanted to see for the champion away. But hey, in my opinion, it is still quite unhealthy to get overly attached to a champion. So, yeah, I mean, this is this is. I kind of like it though. Like there are adults that are invested in this. Well, yeah. This is <laughs> League of Losers. <laughs> League of oh losers. my god, this is amazing. <laughs> League of Losers. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Like, I'm just in shock for this whole thing. Like, how is this even possible? I'm not. It sounds like a completely normal thing to happen in MMOs. <laughs> well, not MMOs, but, you know, uh, this type of games. <laughs> Don't worry, there is a to be continued soon. That's what Necrit says in chat. Oh boy. So this is going... This is not the end, it's merely the beginning. Nice. I get you, Syndra mains. But goddamn, the Nami skin is legitimately one of the best skins I have ever seen in this yeah, game. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Anyway, long... Is it though? Story short. I mean, okay, that's... I'm... <laughs> Dutch Star Jin probably still is better. At least this one doesn't cost 500 bucks or something like that, though. Anyway, this was Quizzer said. So, thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already, and have a nice day. Bye bye.